and you don't even have to second guess how drill you can get, how deep you can get before you get found out. And that ain't hard. When you, I mean, when you get down to brass tacks, what else is left other than depth? It's hard. And it's easy at the same time. It's easy to get caught up. But sometimes it's hard to live through it or to get through it, to not get sucked in, to get out through the other side and continue living, having lived through it. It ain't often that you come out whole. You don't. Not ever. I don't think. In the time in the time that I've seen <laughs> too little too late, huh? In the time that in the time that I've seen folks come in and out of corporate, they're never the same. Once it once it enters your life or once you interact with corporate, once you come into proximity of corporate it's hard to look away oh, goodness gracious it's so hard to look away and it's so tempting to continue staring at that's what it is it's a lure into society it's not something you ever want to get caught on the end of and yet, unfortunately, most individuals do. And they get lost. Some call it getting lost in the sauce, but really it's just getting lost, playing a game. Like hide and go seek, except that in your world, your version of winning is never getting found. At that point, are you even still playing? Or has it become a way of life? It's difficult to describe, to dissect and pull apart and explain every piece, explain every detail. Some folks don't get far. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. Some folks don't get far. And um, we're coming up on the holidays. Dark nights. Warm drinks. That sort of thing. It's coming up on those days. Where. A different mode of appreciation comes out of our being of our condition that's an appreciation for warmth an appreciation for light yeah I get I understand that some folks like the cold the dark the gray And they get their share. They, they get their say. They get their share. They have their own portion of good days allotted to them. Sometimes we let our days slip through our fingers, caught up in nonsense. Not paying attention, getting caught unaware. I mean, I, looking back, I don't understand. It's so hard to go through life like that. It's like choosing to remain, choosing to remain blind. Choosing to remain ignorant. 
And no, in this context, ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance is ignorance. It's just not knowing what the reality of the situation is. How can you expect to get ahead? It's, when you think about it, how can you expect to get ahead when every waking moment is focused on doing other things? In corporate, it's different. In corporate, you don't work on getting ahead. You won't live. You just won't get ahead. You won't continue. You sit still. You stand still. You you remain motionless. And folks out here will take it as a form of acquiescence of you allowing yourself to get ran over. It's not something anybody wants. It's not something anybody should strive for. Even myself, I try to remain out of the spotlight. I don't want to be known. I would much rather just be respected. I, I don't want to be popular. But I would like to be recognizable. Even if it's just in attributes, indirectly. It doesn't even, they, they don't have to know me by name, but they have to know me by nature. That's what you, you should want as a corporate cowboy. You don't have to be tied to a name, to a business card, to a firm. Just by nature, the way you walk in, the way you carry yourself, it all counts. It all counts. I can only hope that I've carried myself in a way that that relays power, that relays uh, respect. And that those who've been in my presence or I've had the privilege of meeting they have felt empowered. Otherwise, who's to say? There comes a point when messages get lost in translation. What can you do? When your intelligence doesn't serve you, it's it's the last expression. The last show presentation. I mean, can you can you even put up a front at that point? And is it worth it? It's just going to get broken down almost immediately. I personally don't think it is worth it. But there are folks who choose to remain. Ser servant? Ser servient? Who choose to remain in a position of, of being ordered around without justification. Being ordered around without good reason. Just because an order is an order. 
It's sobering, to say the least. I wouldn't put it past our enemies that they get some sort of satisfaction from developing armies of blind followers. It's both a science and an art. I understand the mechanisms behind it. I understand the motivations behind it. The power that lies in becoming popular in becoming a celebrity, having a following, not necessarily at your beckoning call, but if you publicize some sort of call to action, it's got some weight behind it. So it's not just yourself acting in your interest but you have other individuals of different sizes varying capacities different capabilities out there putting in work for you as well it's tempting it's tempting but it won't get done as if it were personal those individuals are very few and far in between they're hard to find And you know what makes it harder is having to recruit, take time to develop, to recruit and develop associates. I mean, that's the logical order if you want to be technical about it. To recruit and develop and promote your associates. It's hard, man. It's hard. So it comes with being a boss. That's the actual territory of being a boss. It's what many, if not most, managers fail to capitalize on. Is the discretion which they have at their disposal. And it's significant. It's a significant amount of discretion. That many just choose not to capitalize on. And hold for the use of. Who? Their employer? Oh. Maybe they'll settle. Get married. Have children. Well that's nice. Settling. I've mentioned before. You settle. You rest on your laurels. You sit back and wait for something to happen. Oh, something will happen. Rest assured. You just wait and see. See if it don't work for yourself. You'll grow desperate enough. It's only a matter of time. When everyone has to learn to be a hustler. It's different. It's difficult. It's a skill that I don't think ever leaves you, but acquiring it, acquiring it, honing it, to be able to exercise it at a moment's notice, it takes substantive time, intensive Some folks, like myself, I put myself through it unbeknownst to myself. I was in a position in life where I knew I had to move up. I had to move up. I was more so looking to uh, be able to interact with people. How to... uh, Win over people and influence friends, if you will. And that was uh, an event in and of itself. 
graduating from reading one book to another and another before I'm just stacking up these fucking books. What was it? Maybe one a month. And even then, I wasn't doing much. I wasn't lifting much. Could have been more. Could have been less. Depending on depending on what my workload looked like, and whether or not I could stay up later, or on my days off, read. If I wasn't actively working, actively building and developing myself out there physically, then I found myself doing it mentally. Little time for anything else. What a time to be alive and to have gotten out of it a better person than how I came into the game there's nowhere else nowhere else but up it's the only way we can go but every now and then I mean we might call this normal but uh, it's not. It's nothing normal. Not, not from the measures that I took, from the tests that I conducted, from the surveys that I facilitated. That's not what reality is saying. And <laughs> the reality check gave me a sight to behold reality is something else than we would like it to be and I'm, it's not that you shouldn't care or that you shouldn't develop your feelings facts do care about your feelings Contrary to popular belief. No, rest assured that facts do care about your feelings because those facts are going to be influenced. They're going to be uh, spun. They're going to have some spin to them. They're going to be interpreted differently because of feelings. It's a, it's a very human thing. And interacting with it, coming across it, confronting it in the wild, it's a whole other animal. Completely different. School doesn't set you up to do this. It's sad. It's a sad notion, but public school is not in the business. Quite literally, not in the business. So what incentive do they have to operate correctly, but public education is not in the business of creating good individuals, of training and developing good individuals. They are not set up to do that. You know the people who are? I mean, they're categorically worse people than your school teachers or your fucking church pastor and whatnot. But categorically, it's going to be corporate, a corporate manager. Why? Because they have that innate, innate, un well, I mean, at this point, it's become innate in second nature, but they have that additional understanding. They've further experienced life at a level and to a degree that will allow them to capitalize on their abilities, on their personal abilities. Some of them don't just live 
to hustle another day and fucking thrive. They could stack. They could stack it. They can tack the rewards of one day onto the rewards of the next day and stack them up together, accumulate them. Some folks aren't just surviving, they're thriving. In reality, everybody can do it. Well, let me take that back. Hypothetically, everyone can do it. I mean, I know in reality everybody could do it because I've uh, I've got some experience myself, some managerial experience, and I've been able to develop a whole crew, a whole crew of individuals, a whole shift that I was in charge of. And it was necessary that I supervise, I orient them, I guide them, I manage them like the actual human resources they are, right? They're entitled to the value of their work or, or hear me out, whatever they are able to negotiate their work is worth. And school doesn't teach you that. Public school does not teach you to negotiate. Barely, it barely tells you what right and wrong is. And that line is becoming so blurry, so thin, so gray. That crossing it feels like nothing at all. But in corporate, the reality is not what you've been instructed to learn in school. I mean, school is supposed to teach you how to learn, not exactly what to learn. I mean, at that point, it just becomes indoctrination. When they tell you what to know, not how to go out and seek what you want to know, what it is you're looking for. The truth, history, chemistry, biology. But instead, they funnel you into what it is they want you to know and then limit you there, just cap you off right there. I mean, it's no different than than keeping a perceived lower class individual from accessing a book at the library. I'm sure that's got some historical context for many races. At some point in history, one race has subjugated another and kept them from that knowledge. I mean, if we're talking races, races, ethnicities, nationalities, culturally speaking, socio-historically speaking, that is the history of the world. It's been war. It's been war and it's corporate war. Where just as easy it is to say that the United States of America is a corporation, so is every other country. And the market is the world, is the planet. That's where these international conglomerates get their power. We'll get there one day. Slowly but surely. And one day to the next, you'll recognize that it wasn't that slow at all. It was exponential. It's like doubling money. You've heard the old parable. You double your money. How slow it grows at first. At least 
the amount you can grasp immediately. The amount that you could understand. But it doubles quickly in a very short amount of time. If you haven't visited the social media pages, by all means, please do so. We're on Instagram. That's Corporate Cowboys. You'll recognize the profile picture. Also, we're available, uh, I would imagine, through pretty much every podcasting service. Share this podcast with your friends and family. Share with them that corporate love. Because we're going to need that. We're going to need them. <clears throat> or you're going to need them in corporate. But, I mean, corporate is what corporate does. And because this podcast is powered by Associates Incorporating Associates, given our namesake, well, we've got to incorporate you too. If you want to write to us, by all means, do that. It's P.O. Box 3372. Rancho Cordova, California, 95742. If you're like shooting us a small donation, we should go towards expenses, business expenses, legal fees. <clears throat> By all means, do that. Gonna wish you a great weekend. And for proof of life, today is Saturday, December 25th, 2021. Have a good night.